Should younger players use a game bat or a heavier wood bat when practicing? Um, I get the wood bat versus metal bat um, benefit. Practicing with wood over metal. Um, when you're a certain age, when you're possibly using wood bat now or about to use wood bat in your future. But if you're a young player, uh, say prior to high school, let's say maybe, maybe that's not the exact spot, but prior to high school, just get a bat you can handle and learn to swing it. The, swing, the, the wood bat generally is heavier than the, than the metal bat and you have to be able to swing that, that wood bat someday. But this isn't about strength and conditioning, this is about technique. And once you've got the technique down, it's not a big deal to put a wood bat in the player's hands. Uh, yes, it's a little different, but it's not a big deal. And the reason it's not a big deal is when you snap the bat, the heavier bat, e even the heavier bat feels lighter because of what we teach. We snap the bat rearward, we snap it into an arc, we snap it into centrifugal force, we get gravity uh, helping us as we snap it down the back into an arc. We get gravity helping us. We get centrifugal force helping us. And I have a lot of my hitters feel like their barrel feels really light because of that. As compared to trying to muscle that heavy barrel forward. That takes a lot of effort. When you snap it behind you into centrifugal force and into gravity, suddenly those forces are bringing the barrel around, okay? Once you get the technique down even to a reasonable degree, you won't care if you've got the metal bat or the wood bat in your hand. If you're trying to bust a number on hit tracks or rap soda or something like that, maybe you'll have a better number with a heavier bat. Um, but in terms of being able to, to hit the ball uh, off a tee or off flips or anything like that where you're working on the pattern, once you get it, a good understanding of the pattern, it doesn't matter which bat you have in your hands. All right, here's a young man. This is very similar to the one I mentioned earlier where he's not getting a stretch behind his leg. He's not using the corner properly. He is snapping the barrel well. Again, I'm real happy with the snap of the barrel with most of these hitters. But we've got to do it from behind the corner. He momentums himself forward and then snaps the barrel. Once again on Aaron's stretch, let me find it here. All right, just, okay. This stretch here, the young man's already unwinding. He should still be stretching. And because he doesn't have the stretch, at this spot right here, his hip is winning, not his leg. Aaron's leg is winning as he tilts right here. His leg is driving as the, as the torso tilts behind it. This young man moves his hands in front of his corner. And from there, there's a push, a snappy push. He's snapping it, don't get me wrong, but he's not getting the drive of the leg. He's not getting the the snap of the leg, the snap of the leg out of the hold and release of the tilting hip, okay? When I first looked at this video full speed, I liked it, I still like it. I'm just trying to help him how he can get better, okay? And again, same thing I just mentioned with the other hitter. Think about keeping your leg off the ground. Coil back against your leg. I'll tell you what, this move, if you do this move right here, that, yeah, let me find a better view of it. If you do this, what Aaron's doing right here, in front of a mirror, oops, I went too far. This right here, over and over and over. What Aaron is getting right here that the young man is not getting is a stretch in the growing area of his rear leg. I'll pull up a picture here in a minute to show you. Aaron's getting a tremendous stretch against his rear leg, a slingshot feeling against his rear leg with a stretch in the growing area. 
this young man has moved forward in front of so he doesn't have that stretch. Real quickly, I'll find that picture. I'll try to find it quick anyway. I've shown it several times. I've posted it on the Facebook group. Where are you picture? Here it is. Okay, so last muscle. We got one on either side, one for each leg. The one on your rear leg is what feels gets stretched. I'm not a trained biomechanist. I can't tell you 100% positively that it is this muscle that gets stretched. There's probably other muscles that get stretched with it, but I will tell you, this is a great view of, the, of where you're gonna feel the stretch, no matter what's causing it. This is where you're gonna feel it. We have a consistent theme among most of these hitters today, and that is no corner. Good to decent barrel snap, no corner. Okay? When your hands and arms outrace your body, you don't have a corner. Again, Aaron stretch. As Aaron is stretching, the hitter on the right is already dropping his hands and swinging, bleeding. One of the hardest things for hitters to understand is that you can swing from there when you have a corner, when you have a slingshot. I'm talking about, well, the young man is kind of rotated a little too far, but that happens on a tee. But he should be able to pull the trigger from there if he had a corner. But instead, he can't pull the trigger, and he has to come all the way to there before he can pull the corner. Look at Aaron on the left. Aaron's still behind his corner. He can snap it from there, and he has a path to any ball. He can get to the outside, the middle, the inside pitch. He can get to the up or the down. This young man had to create that path by these frames right here before he could pull the trigger. He bled his corner. It's really hard thing to get people to understand that they can swing from the position Aaron's in and they don't have to bleed a little bit forward before they swing, okay? Keep working, these are good videos. Again, I'm happy with the barrel snap. So you've got that point down pretty well. Uh, we gotta get to work on that rear leg. We have to get to work on creating a corner, snapping and tilting from behind the corner. Watch the corner drill that's on your uh, online course. It's really good. What is missing in almost all the hitters who don't have the corner is this. Okay, when I say Aaron's tilting, he is. It's hard to see the tilt if you have never felt it, but this is rotation, this is tilt. This is rotation, this is tilt. <coughs> Excuse me. And when I tilt, my barrel will stay behind my corner and my leg will pull it through. When I rotate, I have no corner, and I'm, even if I snap it, I push it.